looks like too much, but I'll manage it. Ooh. Is getting a pre-ground coffee a good option? And how much of taste is left after 18 days after roasting? Natural processed Ethiopia. Milk meaning it was roasted especially to have less acidity and to be suitable for automatic coffee machines. And it was ground for the Turkish coffee. Minimum setting on Guatemala. Malkonic. And because someone ordered this coffee and this jasper, I'm going to test this coffee with this jasper. Well, coffee arrived tomorrow, but I will test it now. Aroma is a pleasant aroma, but it's it's boring. It's nothing too special about it. And I'm going to brew 15 grams using 150 grams of water in order to see. Oh, I'll, let's do 170. 50, 70 grams of coffee and 170. This is not light roast. We, we will not leave the foam that high. First of all, don't forget to squeeze out the air. And <laughs> it's hard to make the tight seal because the zip is already filled with the coffee. Brush it a little bit because it will not seal that well. Yeah, that's the seal. Alternatively, you can keep it in a glass jars. It will be suitable. And the good thing that I don't need to grind this coffee. And this is great. Let's get a bit closer look and check the grind size. What does it look like? The closest I can get right now. And it looks tiny, but without clumps. So my Turkish Turkish coffee grinder will so then will make it smaller. But here is like independent particles, and they're very tiny. One more package, so I can check for sure that this is Mehmet Efendi coffee. So yeah, today we're gonna brew two cup, two cups of coffee and compare them. In this bag, currently the coffee is not that unpleasant as it was in the previous shooting. This was roasted six months ago. 170 grams of water. Looks like too much, but I'll manage it. It's 200 milliliters, 200 milliliters jasper. I'm going to brew it on my regular setting, which is this mark up first mark and right away i'm targeting for lighter foam so there will will now be a rub maybe a little bit of signs uh, that uh, foam starting to lift from the sides start the rub in motion but it will be relatively light because this coffee is already roasted towards uh, less acidity etc so that's why i want to put preserve as much as I can. But it can be brewed longer, there will not be that much of bitterness, so you can brew it with a wrap, it's not a problem. And I probably will not mix it because there is no point, there is no big particles which blocks the view, only like some bubbles, but they will go away eventually. For 50, waiting for some motion. Because without emotion, it's not ready yet. It started to raise from, from the center. As you can see, this rim is already filled. You can brew it faster, by the way, it's not a problem. I just like slower brewing. And here is the signs, clear signs, six minutes. Oh. So I'm going to clean the setup and brew the second cup right away in order to see what it tastes like after like six months of roasting. I will check this coffee after 10 minutes, so I will, I will let it cool down for longer. Yeah, it's tough to shoot and <laughs> make adjustments while shooting. But cleaning is not that hard, as you can see. Yeah, stainless steel is nice, it's easy. Not the cleanest setup now, but 
Jesva looks nice. And here you definitely need to pour it in some glass jar, which I will do. Obviously I can't clean it now, so just ignore it. And I'm going to try after seven minutes. Looks beautiful. Some coffee particles in the foam, so it's better to brew it with a lower amount of coffee and pour it higher in order to beat the small particles out from the foam. I will not watch on the bag of coffee now for the flavors, suggestions, but currently it's like some fruits and nuts, something like this. Complexity is there, but it's not super interesting. I've managed to preserve some acidity and feels nice. Reminds me a little bit of uh, milk chocolate with raisins, something like this. Darker notes dominate, and even even closer to dark chocolate with raisins, if you know what I mean. Some kind of this combination of the flavor. This tastes like a coffee, and good coffee, like I would drink it. It's darkish, but still drinkable. And uh, as for the brewing itself, it was perfect, so <laughs> this is how it should look like if you are brewing it at home. Oh, just started to raise and you pour it right away in your cup, of course. But I'm glad that the taste is here, so it tastes like a coffee, like a pretty normal coffee without too much Quakers. Because in Mehmet Effendi uh, there was perceivable Quakers. It's Oh, oh, I will not do this mistake again. 450. A little bit of thoughts. First of all, it took longer to brew first cup of coffee. I don't know why. Maybe uh, power output was a little bit different because it sounded a little bit more powerful this time. And about the Jasba, I like how you can clean it properly without having too much color change. As you can see, this is without patina coating. It looks already oxidized. Here is some marks from the fingers. Burnt mark from the burner. Here it looks like new and especially if you watch from like one meter. Now I will check the taste again. Totally forgot to mention, 170 milliliters is doable in this jazz base, as you've seen, but it is better to have like 150 milliliters and 15 grams of coffee in order to have proper control. But for such coffee, it will work just fine. Just be sure to be near the burner when it's towards the end of the brewing. It's hard to tell for sure, but I for some reason, perceive some grape here and some fruits, like stone fruit, a little bit, a slight hint, because it's covered by this dark taste of chocolate or something. The cup is nice. It's interesting to drink and the flavor, chocolate flowers, apricot and nuts. Nuts and chocolate, easily visible. Not sure about flowers, but possibly. I, I can perceive more grape and raisins. Slightly pinching texture here, so uh, hard to describe. Tactile, pinching, just a strong coffee. I would even use lower dose because uh, for such coffee, such strong coffee, there is 170 liters for one person is too much. And for two persons, perfectly. So I would use 14 grams for one person here and 140 of water. And our crema got darker. Let's try this one. Weird aroma. Yeah, a little bit stale taste of the foam. You also have these particles, so just blow in it in order to not have, not have them like this. You can drink clean. Also nice, surprisingly. 
this cup is more complex. This one is more rounded, I would say, so it's like a flat, flat cup, this one. This one is like interesting in taste. So this could be too boring, but still it's coffee. Subtle notes of some, hard to say, maybe apple acidity, apple-ish. Some soft acidity here is present and it's quite nice. Overall taste is more like muted, but of course it's like six months of roasting. It is still drinkable, so it was ground six months ago. Nice acidity, surprisingly. Let it cool down for like 12 minutes before trying to drink if you use such dose 170. Because when it cools down, it's really interesting. And this coffee as well. So cold cup, more nuts, more nuts, and more chocolate, mm, less acidity, like almost none acidity, I would say. And this started to get surprisingly fruity. And this is a great sign, so I can definitely recommend you trying it once again. Even, even though it's pretty old. Overall conclusions of this episode. Both are great, so both are drinkable, so ground coffee is, is okay. You don't need to grind your coffee if you want, like, basic coffee, because if you're going to grind something like this, I wouldn't recommend it because you will lose some flavor. Here, <laughs> I haven't lost that much and <laughs> it is still great, so not a problem. Now you know how to brew it because it's a little bit darker coffee. If you use this Jasva pour to the rim and when you spill the coffee, it's ready. But anyway, it was a great experience. Let me know in the comments, have you tried this coffee and do you want to order this one? And of course, uh, this coffee is only for those who don't like acidity in their coffee and want coffee taste like coffee. So in this case, yes, milk is great, but I would ask you to go if you have, uh, if you want espresso roast, uh, just just get specialty beans because they will be more interesting way more interesting and still with low amount of acidity if you want more acidity get the light roast thank you for watching see ya